Question number one, Fatima wants to present her friend a gift made of plant fiber. Which out of the following will she select? Option A is jute bag. Jute bag is made of the plant uh, jute. Option B is woolen shawl, which is made of wool. Option C is silk sari, that is made of silk. And option D is nylon scarf, that is made of nylon. So Fatima will present her friend a jute bag because it is made of plant fiber. So option A is the correct option here. Question number two, people living in coastal areas eat what kind of food? Option A is rice and the meat of goat. Option B is maize and bajra. Option C is wheat, pulses and rice. The last option is rice and fish including other food items. So here option D is the correct option because fish is easily available in the rivers and rice is a grain that usually grows in the watery areas. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 3. Ali is at school. He, it is science lesson. Ali goes outside and collects mini beads from under a log. He looks at them with a magnifying glass. What must Ali do when he has finished looking at them? Option A is put the mini beads in the bin. Option B is put the mini beads back under the log. C is take the mini beads home. The last option is wash the mini beads down the sink. So option A, C and D are incorrect. Only the option B is the correct one. He should put the mini bees back under the log. Because whenever we have to observe any animal, we should, should just put it back to its habitat after observing it. Question number 4. Ahmed wanted to measure how fast different insects can crawl. He must have a ruler to help him find the speed. What other tool does he need to use? Option A is a clock with a second hand. Option B is a fan with different speeds. Option C is a long stick with a brush on the end. And the last option is a thermometer with degree Celsius. So option A is the correct option here because the speed of the crawling uh, insects will be in seconds. So he should have a clock with a second hand. There is no use of a fan, a long stick with the brush or thermometer because thermometer is used to measure the temperature not the speed so here option a is the only correct option number five a truckload of sand was delivered to the school playground it rained for a week the sand was no longer a hill what probably happened to the sand option a is it eroded option b is it erupted option c is it fossilized and the last option is it evaporated so option a is the correct option here because the sand erosion is a process in which sand is lost due to the combination of water and wind movement and due to the continuous rain the sand was eroded over the hill so due to the continuous rain the sand was eroded from the hill and there was no more sand in the uh, school playground Question number 6. Study the characteristics of P, Q, R and S in the given table. P cannot move from one place to another, but it needs water, it breathes and it grows. That can be a plant which is a living thing. Q can move from one place to another, it needs water, it breathes and it grows like human being. R can move from one place to another, it needs water, it breathes but it doesn't grow. Uh, so it can be a living thing because it can move at its own or it needs water, it breathes, but only the size of the thing is not increasing. So R can be a living thing. S can move from one place to another. It doesn't uh, need water, it doesn't breathe, it doesn't grow. So S is a known living thing because it can be moved from one place to another place by any living thing as well. So here option D is the correct option. S is most likely to be a non-living thing. Question number 7. The following words are associated with which of the given sense organs? Hot, cold, soft, smooth, rough, hard. Option A is D and E only. B is E and G only. Option C is H only. And option D is H, E and F only. So here. We can uh, feel coldness, hotness, softness, smoothness, roughness and hardness of the things 
by using our sense of touch and uh, the organ that will be used to uh, touch the thing is hand so option c is the correct option here question number eight the cloth shown in the given picture did not absorb water at all when checked after a few minutes what should be suitably made with this cloth option a is t-shirt option b is floor mop option c is raincoat and the last option is none of these so according to the given information the material is non-absorbent and non-absorbent material is the best material to make a raincoat because raincoat keeps us dry in the rain Question number 9. Nemeth is blindfolded and he is asked to differentiate between a few pairs of items between which of the following pairs of items he cannot differentiate. So option A is a glass of orange juice and a glass of plain water. So he is blindfolded so he can drink the glass of orange juice and plain water to differentiate between them. Option B is a piece of red and a piece of blue cloth. So yes, he cannot see the colors if he is blindfolded so option b is the correct option option c is a round ball and a rectangular box so you can easily touch the both things and differentiate between them option d is an empty piggy bank and a piggy bank with some coins in it so option d is also incorrect because you can simply shake the piggy banks to differentiate between them so here option b is the only correct option question number 10 how does a dog express happiness Option A is twitching ears, option B is moving head, option C is closing eyes and option D is wagging tail. So a dog shows its happiness by wagging its tail. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 11. This is very simple electrical circuit. A wire goes from the battery to the bulb. Another wire goes from the bulb back to the battery. Emma takes away one of the wires. What happens to the bulb? Option A is the bulb stays on, option B is the bulb blows up, option C is the bulb does not light up and the last option is the bulb melts. So option B and D are incorrect because bulb cannot blow up or melt. It's not a short circuit, it's simply incomplete circuit because um, the wire is missing so electricity cannot flow properly. So bulb cannot stay on. Option C is the correct option here. The bulb does not light up due to open circuit or incomplete circuit. Question number 12. Fatima wants to watch a show on the telly. She presses the button on the remote control to turn on the television. But nothing happens. What is the most probably wrong? So option A is the TV show has finished. Option B is she has the wrong channel. As it is given in the question, the television is not turning on. So she cannot watch any TV show or channel. So option A and B are incorrect. Option C is the batteries in the remote control need replacing. That can be a possible correct option because if the batteries are not working properly, the TV will not turn on. So option C is the correct option here. And the last option is she has the wrong day, which is incorrect. Question number 13, a student sweeps up dirt with small pieces of leaves. What is the best way to remove all the leaves from the dirt? Option A is filter the mixture through a screen. So uh, she can use this way because uh, the dirt particles are tiny in size. So they can go down through the screen. And the size of the leaves is fixed so they can stay on the screen. In this way, she can remove all the leaves from the dirt. So, so option A is the correct option here. Option B is run a magnet through the mixture. It will make no difference because none of the object dirt or leaves get attracted towards the magnet. So this is this method is uh, not right. Option C is stir the mixture with the spoon. It will also make no difference. The last option is add water to the mixture. Instead of adding water to the mixture, she can simply filter the mixture through a screen. So option A is the correct option here. Question number 14, a student wants to know what types of clouds are in the sky during different types of weather. Which investigation should the student complete to answer this question? Option A is observe the clouds in the sky during rainy, sunny and snowy weather. Option B is observe the clouds in the sky during three days of sunny weather. Option C observe the clouds in the sky during a rainstorm. 
and option D is observe the clouds in the sky during two days of snowy weather. Option A is the correct option here. The student can observe the clouds in the sky during rainy, sunny and snowy weather because as he is observing the clouds in three different weathers, he can see different types of clouds. But in the rest of the uh, options, very limited types of clouds can be observed. So A is the suitable option here. Question number 15, a student wants to help conserve trees. Which activity should the student choose? Option A is washing laundry in hot water. B is turning on an air conditioner. C is using wind energy. And D is recycling paper. So, as paper is made uh, using the trees, so if he wants to save the trees, he should recycle the papers. Read the paragraph, then answer the question. There are more than 1000 volcanoes on earth. Many of these volcanoes are on land. Some are in the middle of continents. Continent, one of the seven big land areas on earth. Other are located along coasts. You can even find volcanoes on islands in the middle of ocean. Island is a small piece of land that has water on all sides. Question number 16 based on the paragraph which sentence is true. Option A is volcanoes can be found far away from the ocean. That is possible because volcanoes can be found on the land as well, which can be away from the ocean. Option B is about 1000 volcanoes erupt each year. That is not correct. C is most islands have volcanoes on them. It's not necessary. And the last option is none of these. So here option A is the correct one. Rest of the options are incorrect. Question number 17. Why is it not a good idea to fill your plate with foods that are all the same color? Option A is having foods of a variety of colors shows that the meal contains a variety of nutrients. Option B is foods that are all the same color are unhealthy. That is incorrect. Option C is a variety of colors shows that your meal is low fat. It is not necessary so that is also not right. The last option is the, your plate will look better with lots of different foods. So that's not the reason. Only uh, the perfect reason is that having foods of variety of colors shows that the meal contains a variety of nutrients. Question number 18. The man is polishing a car with a machine. The car will be option A, rougher and shinier. Option B, harder and duller. C is smoother and shinier. And last option is softer and shinier. So, using a polishing machine uh, removes scratches or all the all types of stains from the car. So, it will make the car smoother and shinier. So, option C is the correct option here. Question number 19. Scientists measure how strong the wind is. Natasha recorded how strong the wind was every day. She wrote down none, breeze, windy, gale or storm, which is the strongest wind. So out of breeze, windy, gale and storm, storm is the uh, fastest wind. So option D is the correct option here. Question number 20. Water and ketchup are each poured onto a tray from two separate bottles. The charts below represent the amount of time it takes each liquid to flow from the top to the bottom of the tray. What conclusion is best supported by the data? So in the first trial, water took two seconds to flow from the top of the tray to the bottom of the tray. But ketchup took 35 seconds. In the second trial, water took 3 seconds and ketchup took 35 seconds to come uh, from the top of the tray to the bottom of the tray. And in the third trial, water took 2 seconds and the ketchup took 40 seconds. Option A is thicker liquids take longer to travel to the bottom of the tray. Option B is thicker liquids take less time to travel to the bottom of a tray. Option C is liquid uh, with sugar crystals travel to the bottom of a tray faster. And the last option is liquid with a darker color travels to the bottom of the tray faster. So option A is the correct option here. Thicker materials take longer time to travel to the bottom of the tray. So the, uh, the thinner materials take less time. Question number 21. Which diagram best represents one day on earth? So, day and night change when earth rotates on its axis. 
So here in option A, earth is rotating on its axis. On option B, the earth is rotating around the sun. In option C, moon is rotating on its axis. And the last option, moon is rotating around earth. So option A is the correct representation because earth is rotating on its axis in this option, which causes day and night. Question number 22. This picture was taken high above Earth's surface. It shows Hurricane Isabel over the south, southern United States and the Gulf of Mexico. In the picture, you can see Greenland dark blue water and the white spiral shaped clouds of the hurricane. What is the truth about hurricanes? Option A is hurricanes can be found over ocean water. Option B is hurricanes can be found only over land. Option A and B are incorrect because hurricane are the spiral shaped uh, storms which can be found over ocean water and land both. So C is the correct option here. Question number 23. Which of these best completes this concept map? Dash changes solids into liquids and it changes liquids into gases. So out of uh, our four options, magnetism, heat, sound, freezing, option B is the correct option. Heat changes solids into liquids like it changes ice into water and it changes liquids into gases like uh, it changes water into gas. Question number 24, which system warns a person that soup is too hot to eat? Option A is digestive system. It helps us to digest the food. Option B is nervous system. That is the system which warns a person from the danger. So this is our correct option. Option D is C is muscular system. That is all about power. And the last option is circulatory system, uh, which uh, basically manages the blood flow in our body. Question number 25. A group of students completed a float or sink experiment. They put six objects into a bucket of water. The objects were made of three different materials, clay, plastic and steel. The diagram below shows the results of the experiment. Which material always sank in this experiment? Option A is clay, B is plastic, C is steel, D is none of these. So we can see that clay ball, steel nail and steel spoon sank in the experiment. But bucket, plastic cup, plastic duck and clay pot uh, stayed on the surface. So we can say that steel is the material which always sank in this experiment.